The honest answer is that you can't absolutely future-proof your data center. What you can do is you can plan your data center today so that it will meet your needs today and will be flexible enough so that it can be modified or adjusted going forward. As an example, um, anybody building a data center today will certainly want to be able to transport one gigabit around this data center or 10 gigabits around this data center. But at the same time, they need to have a migration path that will allow them to support 40 and 100 gigabit in the data center over the near term. The decision regarding building in-house as opposed to moving to a co-location facility comes down to a couple of issues. Um, one of them is uh, an acceptance of the security around moving your facilities off-site. You obviously need to be content that I've moved them off-site and now my data and my infrastructure is perfectly safe. Second issue will be the availability of WAN connectivity. As you move your, your, day, your servers off-site, you need to have assured connectivity to the, that infrastructure located off-site. A cheaper option will be to move it off-site because the co-location operator is obviously building uh, a facility uh, to manage thousands of servers, of which you may have a couple within this facility. So by, by definition, it will be a more efficient facility than a smaller facility built within your own building. got to build the data center to meet the needs of the business today, but also it has to have the ability to grow in the future. If you get it too small, you've got the obvious problem. That you simply haven't got enough space, physical space, or power available, or cooling capacity available. If you build the data center too large, the cooling efficiency of the data center will be somewhat reduced. And this gives rise to an inefficient facility. Um, but on the other hand, you need to build a data center so that in two, three, or four, or five years time, you can expand the data center to add some more space to it. So there is no one correct solution for sizing your data center except to try and design it so that A, it meets your needs today and B, it can expand in the future in a, in a modular fashion, thereby maximizing the efficiency of the facility. If by expansion you mean uh, moving from 1 gig to 10 gig to 40 gig to 100 gig over the fiber network within the data center, yes, this can be achieved by and large without disrupting services. Um, also, if we, we can expand data centers using uh, pre-terminated assemblies which are manufactured in a manufacturing plant off-site, uh, for instance, the Comscope Instapatch copper solution, um, this too can be deployed within a data center by and large without impacting any of the existing services. However, if the expansion requires the building, the expansion of the floor space, well then this can, uh, can cause uh, interruptions to the existing services and difficulties obviously for the enterprise as a whole should that occur. How you plan and implement your data center can have a major impact on the total cost of ownership. Let me give you some examples. Um, how you cool the data center can be greatly impacted uh, by how you lay it out. So you could have enclosed hot oil or enclosed cold oil. The implementation of intelligence within the data center can greatly impact the total cost of ownership in terms of, uh, as the Americans call it, sweating the assets. Intelligence gives you the visibility of what's happening within your data center, can recognize what resources are being used and what resources are not being used, and by virtue of that, give you control over the data center whereby you can minimize the uh, cost of operating the data center. Data center infrastructure management systems give you visibility of the physical layout of the data center. So you get visibility of where you've got cabinets, where you've got servers, where you've got switches. Um, you get visibility of what space is available within your cabinets, you get a visibility of what power is available from your power source. Um, you get vi visibility of what cooling capacity is available from your cooling infrastructure within the data center. Thereby giving you the ability to plan changes to your data center. So you, if you need, for instance, to add 40, 50 servers to your data center, within the DCIM system, you can fit them and check to see that you've got the available physical space check to see that you've got the available, available power supply, check that you've got the available weight-bearing structure, for instance, under the floor, before you ever implement it. Um, 
This obviously adds to the efficiency in terms of efficiency in terms of how you manage and run the data center and also can impact your energy consumption.